All right, thank you for staying with us. It's time for us to go on now for the final part of Sports Tonight. Wally Adigo has joined me on the show. Uh, Wally, thank you for joining us on, uh, on Sports Tonight. Yeah, thank you for having me. A lot to talk about. But I'm told that Koiki is waiting to join us on the line from Sus now very quickly. So let's quickly go and uh, talk to Koiki. We were trying to reach him yesterday. All we were hearing from the background was chief, 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 like someone was pursuing him. But it looks like it's a lot settled today, and it has a lot of interesting things to tell us. Koiki, thank you for joining us on Sports Tonight. Thank God that you are safe. But, I mean, we've, we've got a lot of reactions. We already know what you, what you guys went through. And Enyimba and the Nigerian Football Federation are making official complaints to CAF on all that you guys went through yesterday. Well, um, like, like you I didn't hear the latter part of your question, but... Yeah, I, w I was talking about the fact that the Nigerian Football Federation and AIMBA have officially laid, lodged a complaint to CAF over all what you guys went through in SUS, not just yesterday before the game. Yes, yes, you're right. Uh, AIMBA and uh, AIMBA have constructed a very, very strongly worded letter to, to the Confederation of Africa Football, uh, and they will be sending it through the Nigerian Football Federation. Um, absolutely brilliant letter by Zimba. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking they might even be copying the United Nations uh, Human Rights Commission as well, uh, and even FIFA as well, because everything that we went to were nothing short of crimes against humanity. Uh, and, and to be honest, um, this, this, they detailed every single thing that occurred from the harassment uh, off the pitch, from the harassment on, on the pitch, from the harassment after the game, from the death threats that uh, Aimbas, the Tunisian agents were receiving, everything they've, con they've uh, condensed into one letter, and most likely they'll be sending it to CAF by, by Monday. By, in fact, I think they've sent, it, uh, they've sent it, I think they'll be sending it tomorrow, tomorrow, exactly. Mm. We, we know Aimbas will be coming in, um, you'll be leaving uh, Tunisia tomorrow and probably arriving on, on Saturday. But let, let, let's look beyond what happened in Suez. For us, Aimbas have survived. They have a ticket to the group phase. What is the body language of the team right now? Having survived in Suez, what are they thinking about uh, now that they are true to the group phase of the, of the CAF Champions League for the first time since 2012? Any Nigerian club for the first time since 2012? Mm. Well, there's, there's a certain thing about victory. Uh, it turns uh, dwarfs into giants. Um, it, it's, uh, there's another thing also about going through the fire and coming out stronger. It's like forging steel. Raw iron, when it is thrown into the fight, it's nothing. But when it comes out, it's steel. All the players that that, that Eibar brought to this match, they've, uh, they've suddenly become giants. They're working much taller than, than they were when they arrived in this country uh, early this week. Um, all of them are excited, looking forward to playing in the group stage of the CAF Champions League. All of them are looking forward to, you know, taking on the seven of the best of the African teams on the continent. And I, from everything that they've told me, they don't particularly care who they get in their group. They know that at least there are four North Africans. They will get either one of Zamalek, Al Ali, Wudad, Casablanca, or Thompson Chief. They say they are not particularly concerned. They don't mind facing uh, uh, um, AS Vita. They don't mind facing Asak Limosa. Nobody. And they have not given me a preference of who they'd like to face. That's what they're saying. The, the body language has been encapsulated in three words. Bring it on. Bring on the best that Africa can throw at them. And they are ready to meet and face it. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Tune, for speaking to us once again. Happy Survivor. And uh, please keep yourself safe. <laughs> Stay indoors and find your way back to Nigeria in one piece. When you come back, we'll talk more about all of uh, what you guys went through. All right, so that's Tunde Koiki, a good guy uh, who uh, is in Sus as we speak, went there with Enyimba, but thankfully he's alive and well and is able to talk to us today. Yesterday it was all about Chief, 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 Chief. I see somebody was uh, running behind him. But uh, while Enyimba have survived, so yeah. it's for us to just begin to look at what Enyimba can do during the group phase and probably maybe win this uh, championship again. Yeah. For qualifying, there's some good money, $400,000 already in the bag for Enyimba. Mm. And um, if you win it, you get around one ninety. dollars the dollar is, 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 is increasing. And this is the best time for, it, for you to win the plenty of dollars. Yeah, but I, I definitely... And change that uh, market price. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I don't think they are favorites yet. I think mm. they need to get to the semi-finals and we have that conversation. Mm. But the good thing is that TP Mazin be out. That's defending it. champions out. Yeah, but then so you have with that. We have to negotiate. The, those, you know, Tune mentioned those four North African teams, key teams. Mm. With that, mm. Mm. Um, we have got John Toshak as their manager. I, I likely have got Martin Yor. 
Um, um, uh, who else again? Zamalek, I've got uh, Alex McLeish. Mm. You know, and uh, you've got top, the top clubs. So, so top clubs. So there's some stardust even in this um, group phase of the Craft Champions League. We'll get into, but it's very important that Emba also have the luck of the draw. Mm. If we can have a luck of the draw, we'll be fine. I'm going to come to talk to you. Um, I want to talk about the Super Eagles, um, Salisu Yusuf, uh, yeah. Bo Kennedy Boboye, and uh, Imama. Yeah. And then of course Neymar going for the Olympic. But before we do that, let's just give you a roll call of the teams that are left in the CAF Champions League. About eight teams now, the best eight teams on the continent are the ones that are left right now uh, in uh, the, the CAF Champions League. And of course, uh, uh, Wally gave you a list of some of those clubs, but if we have it right there for you on the screen, we'd like to show it so that you can also see the list of the eight teams. Inyimba of Nigeria, Oton Sertif of Algeria, Zesco United of Zambia, Asek Mimosas of Cote d'Ivoire, AS Vita of Congo DR, Wedad Casablanca of Morocco, El Hali of Egypt, Zamalek of Egypt. So you can see two Egyptian teams still left in the race, one from Morocco, one from Algeria, and uh, Inyimba of Nigeria. I so wish this is group A and group mm. B. Ah, ah, okay. <laughs> you wish. You wish. All right. But let's quickly, as we wrap up the show now, um, talk about um, the Eagles, the friendly games against uh, Mali and uh, Luxembourg, yeah. and of course uh, Brazil, Neymar for the Olympic Games. Um, I've always made my, my, my case clear. See, we are preparing to play the top African teams on the continent. We should be playing teams on the continent, on the continent, not in Paris. That's what I feel. Um, if the NFF has promised us grade A friendlies, I wonder if Mali were ranked 60 and um, Luxembourg won 20 at grade A. But mm. the most part is I've taken advantage of this. Um, for Neymar, mm. fantastic. Um, for him, um, Barcelona and Brazil have come to a, co a, 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 a conclusion that will play at Brazil. They haven't won the Olympics, so that tells you that they are taking this very seriously. And also, it aligns with the fact that top teams are coming with their big boys. Mm. Sweden, probably Zlatan, Colombia, probably Ames Rodriguez and Falcao, and maybe um, uh, the, the right winger they've got in there. We, we don't know yet. So, it will be very, very interesting to see, you know, if Brazil can go on. Neymar was there in 2012. They still lost. Mm. Mm. All right, that's how we have to wrap it up. Neymar was there in 2012. They lost. And who says? It won't be there in 2016. Get to the final and still lose, maybe to Nigeria. That's how we wrap it up on Sports Tonight this Thursday. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye now.